Hi, I'm Jake from Leisure Days. We're going to talk about a 30 foot wildwood travel trailer today. We're going to start out with your uh, shoreline. Most of them are 50 amp and 30 amp. So you plug it into your shoreline or your power line at the park. And then we uh, come down here. We also have this cable satellite as well off the side. This is strictly in, the rest of the trailer is out. So here we have your sewers. This one here is your outside kitchen sink, your dowie. So that'll be strictly for that. And then you have your other sewer, which is your inside of your trailer, which will be your strictly your brack tank and your gray tank. So down here we have your stabilizer, stabilizer jacks. They're situated on all four corners. There's, most of them come with an adapter for your drill. They're meant for stabilizing the trailer and not raising it up to change the tires. And under here, a lot of them come with now with strong arms to stop the sway from the trailer. So then you would tighten these up. Like I said, all four corners have one. Then you would come over here. Now all these all these trailers are now equipped with brand new tanks and brand new batteries, either 20 pound or 30 pound. This style here draws from both, both tanks to feed the trailer. Comes with a marine deep cycle battery, brand new as well. This one has a quick, quick disconnect for your battery, so you don't have to keep taking your battery off. Down here. So here, we give you a starter kit for your trailer. Comes with a sewer tube. A couple packages for your black tank to keep the smells down and to break down solids. Also comes with a, a 30 amp adapter so you can plug it into your 110 power, like your house. We also give you a tube of die core. This is strictly for the roof if you end up getting a hole in there. We also give you a water regulator which matches the pressure at 45 PSI. Now most of these trailers, they are solar power ready if you wish you decide if you decide that you want to put a solar panel on for charging your battery as well. Here, inside the door, we have a, a solid stair set, looking like so. They are adjustable for the ground, so that way if it is low, you can raise and lower them. And then we can come in here. So here we have your monitor panel, which controls the, the slide outs, your lights, and other accessories like, like your uh, hot water heater, your water pump, your monitor panel for your grays tanks and your, your black tanks, also your batteries as well. So here we have the slide outs. Push this button and your slide out comes out. Now these slide outs are meant to come out on their own and stay out on their own. They're not meant to be supported. So when you're bringing them in and out, you have to make sure that the top of them are clean and at least the front of the floor is clean too. Here we have your 12 volt Everchill fridge. Plenty of room. Freezer. Both adjustable. Here we have your uh, propane oven and stove, come with light, sparker controls oven and stove top. Here we have lights, exhaust fan, standard microwave. Some trailers are equipped with, over here we have over here we have a fireplace, electric fireplace. Some are equipped with buttons, switches to change from fireplace to AC. 
So if we wanted to switch to a fireplace, we would switch this, and then we'd be able to go down to our fireplace. They all come with control, remote controls, sound bars made by Furion. They all have they also have all power boosters for TVs, which will pick you can pick up a few channels wherever you're located. Here we have your thermostat, which controls your heat, your AC, also a fan. Down here, we also have your LP detector and carbon monoxide. If you come over here, your dinette will also change into a bed by popping the table up and laying them down in the cushions and lay them down and it'll sleep too comfortably. You can also turn your jackknife couch into a bed which sleeps pretty comfortable. So over here I'm back on your monitor panel we also have your controls to your electric awning which you push here. Also controls LED lights as well. Now when it comes to your awnings, you'll have to watch it a little bit with the wind because uh, it, it can only handle so much. So when it comes to rain, it's going to try to pick a side to drop it off. You can adjust these awnings by changing these. Change the pitch on it with these, these controls over here. And now your rain will come off this way. And over here, we have your six gallon water heater. Well, a lot of them are both uh, propane and electric. They take about a half hour to warm up and then you're good to shower and do your dishes. Over here, we have your exhaust and your intake for your furnace. This one here, this is your fresh water tank. Uh, it's not, try not to, do not drink from these, but you can only use your dishes, it's portable water. See if the park has no water, you can fill this up and use it as well. You have drains down here for draining your portable water. Over here we have your 110, 120 volt outside plug. And over here we have your out, outside kitchen, portable sink. Outside fridge, electric. So this is Jake Rainers from Leisure Days RV. If you have any questions, you can contact our service desk. Thank you.